Apple's CarPlay framework enables iOS app developers to integrate their apps to work within a vehicle's head unit or infotainment system, leveraging the head unit as a user interface UI for their apps. Since its launch in 2014, CarPlay has rapidly grown in popularity, with all major car manufacturers licensing the technology and with a projected install base of over 37 million vehicles and a 26% market share of voice-powered auto assistance by the end of 2020. Yet, for all its success, there is a dearth of information out there to help app developers learn how to develop CarPlay-enabled apps. At Blue Label Labs, we just finished our first CarPlay app for iHeartMedia. And in the process, we've learned a ton about how CarPlay works and what it takes to take an existing podcast music player app and bolt on a CarPlay experience to it. In this video, I hope to demystify what CarPlay is and help other app developers on how to get started with building for CarPlay. What kind of apps can be built for CarPlay? Many iPhone app developers in particular might be licking their chops at the possibilities of what they can build into CarPlay. But before you get too excited, Apple restricts very tightly the types of apps that can be enabled for CarPlay to the following. Navigation, i.e. Waze, Messaging and VoIP, i.e. WhatsApp, Music Player, News, Podcasts, i.e. Spotify, Overcast, Parking, new for iOS 14, EV Charging, new for iOS 14, Quick Food Ordering, new for iOS 14. If your app doesn't fall into one of these categories, then I'm afraid your CarPlay dreams will remain just that. How does CarPlay work? Most cars today contain a head unit, which is the central subsystem that controls playing the radio, making calls, and performing route navigation, which is also colloquially referred to as an infotainment system. In addition to this main head unit, cars that are equipped with CarPlay have a separate head unit that lives beside the car's inbuilt infotainment system, which is responsible for communicating with the connected iOS device and uses that data to display information to the driver and control the vehicle's hardware. This is why when you launch CarPlay in a vehicle, it looks and feels like CarPlay is taking over the entire infotainment experience of the vehicle, because it is essentially doing that. Newer vehicles allow for CarPlay to control certain components of the infotainment system, like navigation, while the inbuilt vehicle system handles other systems, such as media playing. How do CarPlay-enabled apps work? The first thing to understand about building an app for CarPlay is that there is no such thing as a separate CarPlay app, but rather, the CarPlay experience is an extension of an app that is running on an iOS device. Think of CarPlay as an additional user interface to an existing app on the device, one which can accept touch inputs and display results to the user. Once the CarPlay head unit is active, it forwards touch events from the vehicle screens to the iOS device via USB and soon Wi-Fi, whereupon the app logic running on the device processes it and returns a result which is then displayed in the car by the CarPlay head unit. For those of you who built apps for the first generation Apple Watch, this whole approach might sound oddly familiar to that experience, because it is. There is no app code running within the vehicle's head unit. It is running within the app on the device, which means it is able to access and share the same memory and other resources contained within the main iOS app's running container. How much work does it take to add CarPlay support to an app? If you have an existing app that falls into one of the aforementioned categories, building a CarPlay experience for the app is generally not a lot of work because of the strict rules Apple puts in place for the UI a CarPlay-enabled app can expose to a user. Building for CarPlay doesn't mean you can build any type of interface like one would for a native iOS app. 
CarPlay provides a set of fixed UI templates and controls that all CarPlay enabled apps must conform to. And within that already minimal set, Apple further restricts which templates can be used depending on the app type being built. Thus, by virtue of the fact that there is a very limited palette of UI controls available to display, and that the CarPlay components can leverage the same underlying infrastructure of the existing app, makes adding CarPlay functionality a relatively straightforward exercise. How much UI customization is available to a CarPlay enabled app? Honestly, not much. For a podcast or music player app, Apple controls very strictly the UI displayed in the vehicle screen, allowing almost no customization of the template provided. For a music player, CarPlay restricts apps to a tab-based navigation flow, with each tab being populated by a simple list of tracks and a canned Now Playing screen, in which the only control the app has is to customize the functions of each button CarPlay displays. That's it! A music player app can only have those screens built to the exact same layout, no more or no less. The lack of flexibility afforded to music players within CarPlay actually makes it very easy to adopt an existing iOS music player app for CarPlay, essentially boiling down simply returning the right list of tracks based on the tab selected by the user, and then handling the touch inputs for the now playing screen. On the flip side, a navigation app is afforded much more freedom by CarPlay to customize the UI and how information is displayed to the user, which would require significantly more work to develop a CarPlay experience for than a music player. The greatest flexibility is offered to vehicle manufacturers who are given free reign to customize the CarPlay UI as they wish. Our team at Blue Label Labs took on the challenge of building a CarPlay app head on and we've learned a ton about not only how CarPlay works, but also how the infotainment systems within modern vehicles behave. If you are looking to build a CarPlay enabled experience for your app, please reach out to us to see how we can help bring your app to life inside of a vehicle.